Uh, a good morning. Welcome, everyone, to this, the 20th meeting of the Justice Committee in 2014. Can I ask everyone to switch off mobile phones and other electronic devices um, as they interfere with the broadcasting system. No apologies have been received. Item 1, I invite you to agree to consider item 4 in relation to our work programme in private. Are you agreed? agreed. Item 2, it's consideration of three negative instruments. The first is the Sexual Offences Act 2003 prescribed police stations Scotland Regulations 2014 SSI 2014 147. The purpose of this instrument is to add and remove certain police stations from the list of prescribed police stations for sex offenders who are subject to the notification requirements in Part 2 of the Sexual Offences Act 2003. The Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee did not raise any concerns with this instrument. And I think, Margaret, you want to say something, could you? Yes, I, I have a little bit of a concern here, um, Convener. I understand that um, this is moving, obviously, from the eight forces down to the single police force, but it seems to me the effect of this could be to make it much more difficult for um, sex offenders to comply with uh, the, the requirements on, of notification on maybe some of the sex offender register um, requirements. For example, by closing Girvan Police Station, they would now be required to make a journey of 22 miles to report to air. And it seems to me anything that we're doing to make this more difficult is um, a matter of some concern. I have to say, um, I think governor near 22 miles isn't that bad with buses, and so it's not. A, it's a good connection uh, between those, actually. Um, does anybody else wish to make any comments in relation to it? No. Um, do we members of uh, are members content to make no recommendation in relation to this instrument? Just note my concern. Well, it's on the record, but I take it that. We're not making any recommendation. Thank you. The second instrument under consideration of the Firefighters Pension Scheme, Scotland Amendment No. 3, Order 2014, SSI 2014-149. This instrument rectifies with retrospective effect errors contained in the previous Firefighters Pension Scheme Amendment Order, which the Committee considered on 20th May. Again, the DPLR Committee didn't raise any concerns with us on this. Do members have any comments? None? Are members content to make no recommendation in relation to this instrument? Thank you very much. The final instrument is the Adults with Incapacity Supervision of Welfare Gardens, etc. by Local Authority Scotland Amendment No. 2, Regulations 2014, SSI 2014 157. This instrument corrects an erroneous cross reference in the previous Adults with Incapacity Amendment order. Again, there were no comments from the DPLR Committee. Do members have any comments to make on that? Just another drafting um, error that's been brought in yes, front of us. Yes, I think we would all mm. agree with you there. Another minor or otherwise, we do get regularly drafting mm. errors, and um, I think it's important to put this on record because we have to come back to these things, and time is taken. Are members, however, content to make no recommendation in relation to this instrument? Thank you very much. Item 3, public petitions. We have two petitions, PE 1510 by Jodie Curtis on behalf of the Emergency Service and Non-Emergency Service Call Centres, calling the Scottish Parliament to undertake a committee inquiry, the closure of police, fire and non-emergency service centres north of Dundee, and PE 1511 by Laura Ross, calling on the Scottish Parliament to urge the Scottish Government to review the decision by the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service to close the Inverness Control Room. The Public Petitions Committee referred the petitions to this committee with request that the issues highlighted in the petitions are raised at our evidence session with the Chief Inspectors of Constabulary and Fire on the 19th of August. Are you content to consider the terms of these petitions during that evidence session? I'll move on. Um, and as a courtesy, we could also inform the subcommittee on policing we're looking at PE 1510. Could I say that if one does decide, if we do decide to do it, it doesn't mean it's closed after that. It's just that it may be better to wait till that time. Can I hear your comments, Alison? Yeah, well, I mean, I think these are worthwhile petitions and there's still a lot of concern, certainly in my communities in the North East, um, about the stripping away of these assets. I think it remains controversial. And I wondered if in advance of this, um, we could write to emergency planning authorities to ask for their views on these closures and, and the capacity of the area to respond to major incidents, just to inform our discussions. Anybody else? John? Yeah. Um, I think we have to be uh, very careful on the issue of mission. I wasn't saying that Alison was being intemperate there, but I mean, when you're talking about things like public safety, I think it's very important that the public uh, has confidence in, in the services. I have to say a very easy thing for me to do would be, that's a great idea, let's support that, put a PR out doing it, uh, as colleagues would say, and then, for instance, uh, in, in doing so, not to acknowledge that there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes regarding this. The, pub, the, the local knowledge thing um, is... Uh, I have to say, often erroneously expressed by members, in good faith members of the public. Um, and uh, 
I just think we need to be very temperate in how we, we discuss this. Public safety is not being compromised because it couldn't be compromised. Yes, Elaine. I wondered also if we're going to have a look at this, whether it's worth asking both Scottish Police Federation and the FBU for their views, because I know the FBU did have some concerns about the closures, and just really to get some idea from, I feel like, the people who represent the emergency workers, whether or not they're aware of any difficulties or, or concerned about any difficulties. Roddy? I was just going to say to make sure that particularly P1510 was drawn to the attention of the Chief Inspector before he gave evidence on the 19th of August, so I know fully what the concerns were. Well, I mean, one yeah. of the, Sandra. So I, I just um, wanted to ask the Public Petitions Committee had uh, looked at it, considering all the evidence you're wanting. I think we need to check with them to see if they've asked for anything as well. Right, they didn't take evidence from the petitioners. I think one of the ways of doing it, rather than to select one group to write out to, is we, you know, we know that we are taking evidence on the 19th of August. Uh, that's on the record. So what we could do is, I don't know how, is to put that onto our website, intimate that we're taking evidence yeah. from the chief's inspectors, and that anyone wants to do, submit anything to us in advance, either collectively or individually, should do so. And that means that we're not just selecting, uh, you're, we might be missing people out who want to make some kind of comment. Uh, what's the best way of doing this? Bear with me a minute. Can If we just put a call for evidence uh, because in advance of our session, that gives us July before up to the 19th of August, a call for evidence because we're taking evidence on the two chief inspectors and that catches everybody. But there's also this, of course, discussion on the record. Alison. I would particularly like to hear from emergency planning authorities. So, I mean, they might not necessarily pick up that, that there is a call. So, uh, uh, I have a distribution list which, okay. would, in, which would be there as well. I, I don't okay. just want to write out to one group. No, no, I think if no, we've got I, a I normal distribution list from, plus a call for evidence, yep. then anybody who wants to uh, give us information in advance of that session, and it doesn't close it down, it just it's, yep. would seem the appropriate way to deal with it. I thought we'd agreed what to do now, but perhaps not. Christian? No, no, we, we, we agree, Convener. I just wanted to check, as a subcommittee, did any work on this, uh, which we should make aware of before we, uh, before the session? Sorry, so, sorry, I think you're part of no, It's okay, Convener. I just wanted to check if the subcommittee had done any work on this no. be before the session not, not uh, taking, As I recall, not taking any firm evidence on it. Um, which petitioner gave it? I understand that both petitioners spoke to their petitions, but it wasn't, an ex it wasn't a, as it were, an inquiry by public petitions, but we could have that as well before us. Yes, we'll get their stuff as well. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Is that all right? Right, thank you very much. Um, now moving to private session. <laughs>